Somebody was asking me about how they could make a bit of money. Um, they don't have work in their area. There's quite high unemployment and they've got time. See, time can be useful, especially in the UK if you've got unemployment benefit. <laughs> because there's a, this video up in the corner um, is one I did yesterday or a couple of days ago, I think. It's two days ago, I think. Um, but basically, it's a villa for sale. And I find in Spain, most people do not market this way. They market on the old static website where people have the slideshow, etc. And it's sat amongst another thousand properties and doesn't really stand out. If you push your properties to the front, then you're more likely to get a sale. You push them in YouTube as well as your own website, you're more likely to get more sales. If you push them in Facebook, Instagram, everywhere possible, you're going to get more sales. Um, so my idea was visualize them. If they've got properties they want to sell, visualize it. Get it into a format that is good for the internet. Stuff that the real estate agent is not doing. Uh, you'll find a lot of estate agents either have too many properties, so lack the, the interest in pushing properties, um, unless they've actually got a solid lead on the phone where somebody's got money and looking for a house, or they are on purely commission, so there's no real incentive to go this far out because they may not get nothing back. Whatever it is, the reality is, this service doesn't even need to be for the estate agent. The way I looked at this is I go to the real estate agent, whatever it is, doesn't matter which estate agent, and say, per video, it's 150 euros for a property that is two to five bedroom. Anything bigger than that is negotiable. Anything below that is 100 euros. Why? Because it takes about four hours. Um, this video was rushed, to be honest, because the... I had to be somewhere else and it, the guy's away the next few days because he's got visitors and stuff. So the video itself, all that video footage was collated in about an hour. Uh, bear in mind I took three cameras, wide angle lens plus other lenses and did it from as many directions and angles as possible with this seven, seven second rule for most of it. Um, which is basically you just record short quick videos of different sections and then put them all together. Um, you don't want to make it too long because if they want to know how big the kitchen that is, it's not for the video to tell you. Where that comes in is reading the bits of bits um, in the actual description documents that come with the, the package of the house. Once they've clicked through your video, gone to the website, you've pr pretty much got somebody very interested in that property through the video. So the point being is the real estate agent doesn't even need to get involved in this. What they do is they go to the seller of the property and say, look, we do this video marketing package. It's 150 for the, you know, for the guy. We make no money off this. Probably sell it for 250. Uh, but whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. You want your 150 or whatever it is for doing the video and the editing. Um, so this was a little opportunity I could see some people could do because you don't need too much equipment. And this is why I say to people, do not invest in expensive equipment because you want to work out what equipment you need. And getting a expen expensive camera, for example, they're going, okay, that's great, but it's got the wrong lens on it. Is not going to help you. Um, I would actually go to places like cash converters and other places like that where people are skint and have pawned off their cameras and bits and pieces, and you can find all sorts in there. I found a when I was in the UK about a year and a half ago, there was a nice Sony um, full blown video camera. Uh, for a filmmaking, and it was about six hundred pounds. And I was I was looking at it, and I'm like, yes, you can buy that, but where are you going to put it? <laughs> so they do have the equipment there, and myself, if I had a cash converter here with that same sort of opportunity, I would take one. The big problem I've got is I've got to get it from the UK to Spain. 
not so bad now because I have I make commuting regularly. Um, so I'm hoping to get new bumpers for the Volkswagen soon. Um, but the point being is get what will do the job and you can build up on it because the camera I actually want for doing the video and st video stuff is about four and a half thousand pounds but I'm not expecting it for this year but I set that goal up there and say right that's what I want to aim for and what will happen is by the time I reach that goal it's about three thousand because the new models come out um, but anyway you get the idea thanks for watching